Hi guys, this is Mary. You're watching Cards TV. I hope you all had a wonderful, blessed Christmas with your friends and family. And I wish you all the very best in the coming new year. It's going to be here in just a few days. So I wanted to get a couple of cards in before the end of the year. We're going to do a birthday card today. And we're going to use this Cricut Light Hoot and Holler cartridge. We'll use two Doodlebug Design paper pads. This one is called Craft in Color Color. And this is Craft in Color Craft. And for our sentiment, we're going to use the Cards TV for the bird stamp set. And we'll be using Who's Having a Birthday. For our card base, we're going to use some Stampin' Up! Bermuda Bay cardstock. I love this color. And it is four and a quarter by five and a half when folded. It's a side folding card. And to go on top of that, I'm using this pretty turquoise check that's from one of those um, doodlebug paper pads. And I'm going to put this on with my art glitter glue so I can move it around and get it straight because I have a lot of trouble getting things straight sometimes. That looks good. Looks pretty straight. Now I used one of my, well actually I used two of my rectangle dies with the stitching, but you can just uh, cut these mats with your trimmer if you don't have stitched rectangle dies. And I will have all the dimensions for you at the end of the video. So you can just look there. Also, I use my Cricut Explore to cut out my images, but I'll also have the measurements for you if you have a Cricut Expression. So you can make this card too. Now I'm going to take this first mat, and this is uh, another one from that Doodlebug. I think this was from the Color on Craft. And it's that same color blue as the Bermuda Bay, but it has wood grain in it. And I thought that would be really cute since we're putting an owl on here. We're going to put this just a little bit down from the center. And then we have this kind of uh, lime green and white polka dot. And I also cut this with a stitched rectangle die. And I've got this on foam tape. And I'm going to put this right here on the front. And I'm going to scoot it more to the left. So I'll go ahead and get this put down. And then I'll show you the cute little owl image that we're going to use. This is a very quick card, guys. Now for my owl, and I think he's very cute. He's sitting on this tree branch. I've got him on some foam tape. And I'm going to put him right about there. And I also cut a little party hat for him. Since this is a birthday card. I've got my owl on one thickness of foam tape. And the party hat is on two thicknesses. Because I'm going to put it on top of the owl's head. Let me show you where I found them. This is from the Hoot and Holler cartridge. The owl is on the second column. And it's the sixth cut down. It's this little owl right here. If you're using the expression, you'll cut your background layer. Then you've got a shift and a layer. And then this would be the eyes to put your owl together. And then you come down two more. And here's that party hat. Now I cut the owl. If you use the expression at two and a half inches, and I cut the party hat at one inch, and I'll have the explore measurements as well as the cricket for you at the end of the video. But I think he's really cute. I'm going to take the backing off the foam tape and get this adhered to the front of my card. There's my little owl, and he's got his hat on, and I don't know if you can see it, but I went over the little party hat with my Spectrum Noir Shimmer Pen just to give it a little bit of sparkle since this is for a birthday. Now all we have to do is add the sentiment. And I use that Cards TV for the bird stamp set and some Memento Tuxedo Black Ink to stamp my sentiment. And it's Who's Having a Birthday. And I stamped it on this little sawtooth banner. This is also on foam tape. 
and I'm going to put this to the side and let that just hang off a little bit. I just think it looks better than centering it. And there we go, guys. A quick, simple little card. I think it's really cute, and I love these colors together, especially this wood grain turquoise in the center. It matches really well with that Bermuda Bay. And on the inside, I'll just cut a white mat with another of my uh, stitched rectangle dies and write my sentiment on the inside. Thanks so much for coming by today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed and this. And I will see you again soon with another card. Bye now.